Brothers, sisters, the time has come. Tonight, we begin our biggest movement. Operation Rectify is now in action. We have gathered credible sources for all of the information you are about to hear. They can be found on Operation Rectify's Facebook page, once we launch it. The reason this movement is being made, and our plans of action are as follows. Our reason. The central banking system has been deceiving the world, most of you know this, as if it's a natural-born fact. They have set up our government, and behind that, they funded the Nazis during the First and Second World War. As you may know, some of the Nazi war criminals were taken to America, and given high positions of authority in our government. These following companies have funded the Nazis, and our last seven presidents. University of California Goldman Sachs, Harvard University, Microsoft Coer, J.P. Morgan Chase & Company, Gooblink, City Group Inc., US Government, Time Warner, Sidley Austin LLP, Stanford University, National Amusement Inc., Columbia University, Skadden, Wilmer Hale LLP, a DEPT of Justice, IBM Coer, UBS SAG, General Electric, Morgan Stanley. If you know anything about these companies, you have to know who runs them. They decide our presidents. Popular vote means nothing. See, we're in a government shutdown. The dollar is crashing. We hit our debt limit in a few days, and 100,000 pounds of gold was found in an American mine, and a military shooting range was put over it. Once the dollar crashes, and a loaf of bread is $40, people will depend on FEMA for their survival. They know that they would have an uprising if we found out we are being coaxed into cages without knowing it. We can do a hundred trucker for the Constitution rallies and nothing will change, other than administration staff. We must go after the bankers. Our plan is to collect information on the past few presidents, the last couple dozen terrorist acts in around the world, including America, the economic downfall, and the bankers, and use this image board to tie them together in such a way that a 60-year-old government lover will drop his jaw and take to the streets. Present the organized information to Twitter a Facebook page, news stations, and online media outlets. Hashtag on Twitter as Rectify. After the information has spread, with the persuasion needed to get people into the streets of each state's capital, we, all of us, go to our state capital, wear our masks, or show your face, with flyers and signs, that we create, and we do not leave the streets until our message has reached national media. The only way our movement will make any damn of a difference than others, is if we stand there, not spending a dime, not eating food, not speaking to police, or causing any type of violence. If we get moved to the sidewalks, so be it. The first time we broadcast an assaulted protester, we react, when, and if we react, we do so with bravery. We try being peaceful. This is our time to prevent the worst outcome in the history of the world. Martial law is the least of our true concerns right now. The freedom of our children, and our children's children is what is pushing us into action. 